who's making a salad with me today. <clears throat> We're gonna do a little gardening tour. We're gonna pick up some ingredients out of the garden, take it into the kitchen, make some salad. These pea shoots are delicious. So I'm gonna actually thin this out a little bit. Watch me end up killing it. So I'm gonna just get a handful, look at that. Pea shoots, beautiful, huh? Here's tomatoes starting to, to uh, crack there. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of these tomatoes. Now, I've never had great luck with herbs in the ground, but this year I literally put these to seed in these pots and these things have been growing amazingly well. This is oregano and this pot has parsley plus chives. And I'll tell you what, man, I use this combination all the time. Parsley plus chives, put it on top of your my tomahawk steaks, put it on top of my prime rib, um, chicken, it's phenomenal. Now I've discovered you can use it on lettuce. So, and the smell, the aroma is so nice. It's not overpowering, like it's flat leaf parsley, curly leaf parsley, like I don't like to eat that. But this flat leaf parsley is still very tender when you grow it in your garden. So I would highly recommend you guys just put these, put these herbs in pots, not in the ground. They don't do so well in the ground. I don't know why. So here's my little salad plate. This is a uh, vintage plate set I bought at an estate sale. Size of my hand here. So, okay. Now, so I washed these, kept them in the fridge. So they're all nice and crispy. Here's what's different. This is romaine lettuce, and Erica got it uh, from Walmart because she, she happened to be there. And I don't know about you, but I don't really like these big leaves of romaine lettuce. So all I did was I reached in here, opened this up, and I just took my hand, I, I pulled out the heart, the heart of the romaine right here. So this is the center core. Now, I find these to be the most delicious parts. What you would normally do is just take this and dice it up. Well, I don't want you to do that. I want you to take these, this, and you, I want you to leave it intact. These, the center part is so tender, okay? Just like this, okay? Mm. You can even just leave that like that. I made a salad dressing about two weeks ago in this jar. Shake that up right there, right? To re-emulsify it. This is a olive oil, orange juice, champagne vinegar, garlic, salt, and pepper, and a little bit of honey. This is called the composed salad because we're keeping our, we're holding our composure, no. Because I don't wanna just throw something on, like just mix it in a salad bowl and just throw it on there. Okay, so here's a little bit of salt. Okay, I'm actually salting the salad. This is actually a tiny little baby spoon. And literally, this is from Charlie Trotter. Drizzle a little bit of dressing on the greens like that. Recompose it. Hold, keep your composure salad. Keep your composure salad. Okay. In my head, I thought this would look really pretty. I don't know. <laughs> now look, check this out. Using my handy dandy slicer, mandolin, my store had these wonderful watermelon radishes. These were quite spicy. And I would recommend, you don't have to, but I recommend that you um, peel them and then slice them on the mandolin. They add such a beautiful color punch. Just drop them on there like that. Okay. Come here, you. You wanna take a little bit of time. Just compose it, make it look nice. You know, what's the big rush? This is just food. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be delicious. You can try to put it all stacked together like this if you have steady hands. Anyway, the point of doing the salad was to not just, oh, here's a big bowl of salad, and just like throw it together. Cucumbers, 
that I had actually used that peeler technique and peeled off uh, strands of uh, cucumbers. And then this time I just diced it. You can put as much or as little as you want. There's no, there's no really good, I, I like odd numbers. I don't know about you guys. Who likes odd numbers? Who like even numbers? This is a little bit of watercress. If you want watercress, it'll be a nice um, spice. But what I would do with a watercress is just kind of, kind of spread it like that, right? No dressing, there's no dressing on that watercress. Now, right, we'll throw these tomatoes down. The reason why we're doing this is, idea being that you wanna be really thoughtful, more thoughtful about your food preparations, guys. This is just something really nice. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put these tomatoes down here, and what they'll do is they'll keep the salad from falling over, you know? Oh, crap, is that looking good? You can just compose it. And look, Erica's favorite. Oh, what else? You know, cherry tomatoes, gotta have a little bit of salt, right? Good. Just gotta toss a little bit of salt right over there. Okay, don't forget the salt. So the idea is that you're composing the salad like a dish, like you're not just throwing it together. Here are our pea shoots. I think everything's kind of going this way. The pea shoots you can kind of lay like this way. Right? Isn't that nice? Look at that. Whoa. It's starting to look fancy here. All right. Now, Dr. V, maybe a little bit more dressing. Because remember, the cucumbers, the radishes aren't dressed. A little bit more dressing. So we're going to dress in layers as we go. You could even do a swoosh on the bottom if you want. We're not going to do a swoosh. And then, remember the parsley and chives? Don't forget the, the flat leaf parsley and chives. Just kind of like, look at that, guys. I look all fancy now. See, sometimes if, if it's too big, like just, dude, just take your time. Just take your time. No big deal. So now you have a little bit of herb. Croutons on here would be great. If you had any croutons, tell me. You're not going to get fat eating this, right? Now, all right, everyone write this down. These... The piste de resistance. I made these about a, three weeks ago. They kept in the fridge. You're just gonna take a red onion and you're gonna dice it long ways, not rings. You understand the difference, right? Long ways. To open. These are takeout containers I'm trying to reuse. So these are red onion, one little red onion that's been soaking in um, rice wine vinegar and a little bit, little bit of salt. That's it. Fantastico. Dump the whole thing on there, Dr. V. No, 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 this is where it's composed. Uh-oh, it's composed. Just take a few of these, you know. And you could have probably, I probably should have done this below. Put three or four on there, man. That's it. Look at that. Look at that. Holy crap. This looks better than I thought. Dr. V's turned into a lazy American. So this is a, you know, a, a, God forbid I actually twist my own peppercorns. This is automatic. Watch this. This blue, it has a blue light that will turn on and it grinds, my, it, it grinds the peppers for me. <laughs> Christmas gift idea. Also on Amazon. Pretty cool, right? I'll do that one more time, a little bit more pepper. Yeah, look at that, that was cool. And it came with a salt shaker, except I dropped the salt shaker and it broke. Now, maybe I should do a little bit more. Who thinks I should put a little bit more salad dressing? You can't tell me that you got fat eating salad dressing. Come on, come on, really? Boom. Dr. V, my husband won't eat that. Oh yeah, he will. Now look at this. You guys remember me bragging about my beer can chicken recipe, right? Here is the leftover beer can chicken. Look at this. Oh, yes. Look at this. It smells so good. Now, do you want dark meat or white meat? You know? And this is a cold salad. So this is right out of the fridge. You can put a, you know, if you just made the salad, you could put it on here. Cynthia Dales is like, no, you're ruining it with with dead flesh. 
dude. Come on. You could put beans on here, tofu on the salad. Look at that. Okay. See, it's not that much, guys. Like, you don't have to, like, I got to cook this whole chicken breast. No, you don't. No, you don't. This is beautiful. And remember, this meat's already been seasoned. It's salted. Look at that. What do you guys think? That's the salad. Did you like that? Was that good? Come on. You would eat that, right? Dr. V, why not chop up the salad? Some of y'all are going to be lazy, and you're going to want to cut up that romaine heart. Don't do it. Leave it as a long spear. Who knows why? Now what you do is when you go to eat it, you're going to actually... Watch this. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. Use a knife and cut into it. Right? Comment if you have trouble eating too fast. Don't chew your food. Not thoughtful. The fact that you have to use a knife and, you know, the vegans, the whole vegan fork, forks over knives, right? Slowing down your eating. Grab a little bit of everything. I gotta have some of these pea shoots, Erica's favorite. I'm telling you, this little onion, parsley, see that? Cucumber, radish. Gotta do, do the taste test. Drum roll, drum roll. Mmm. Delicioso. Damn. That is like a serious meal. You hear the crunch? Can you guys hear the crunch? The crunch is from like the heart of the romaine. Um, plus it was in the fridge because it was cold. Fresh, y'all saw me pick this tomato off my tomato plant. A little sugar explosion. Not too much acid, very, very nice. For the meat eaters out there, my beer can chicken. Mmm. Okay. Here's the pea shoot. Erica, your favorite, babe. Has a little bit of drizzle of um, dressing on it, a little pepper on it. Grill y'all some peas. The red onion, all it is, is long strips of red onion in rice wine vinegar, salt and pepper. If you want a little bit of honey, you can. You don't have to. Just Or just plain rice wine vinegar. That's it. And let it soak in there. You don't have to cook it about at least an hour before using it. The longer you let it sit, the onion loses its uh, oniony spice and gets more vinegary, more pickled. Delicious. So, you can eat the red onions by themselves, but if you get it with a crunch of lettuce, the cooling cucumber, the acid mm, from the red onion balances it out. That's been sitting in red wine vinegar for about three weeks. There's no bad onion breath. You know what I mean? Like there's not that bite. Delicioso. I am telling you, this is fantastic. I'm telling y'all, like food porn, so good. The funny thing is, in the world of bariatric surgery, what pisses me off is like, they tell you you can't eat stuff like this. They tell you like, uh, where's your protein and, you know, um, that sort of stuff, you know? Just not true, guys. Got to put my... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the perfect bite for y'all. Right? Look at that pea shoot. Oh, a little bit of chicken. Look at that. Who wants a bite of that? Who wants a toast of that? Mmm. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Compose salads. Don't just toss the, any old shit together. All right? The challenge for you guys is stop doing salads like, oh, I'm just going to buy this box of pre-made spinach and stuff, and I'm just going to slice some 
tomatoes and some carrots and cucumbers in there and ranch dressing and look at me eating my healthy salad. No, I, the challenge is for you guys to become much more mindful and thoughtful about your food, especially your salads. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.